sit in fourth place in the AL West. We are underway with a fastball for a strike. He's in for Mark Kotze in the A's as he fouls one out of play and Fromber getting ahead 0 and 2. There is no safety net tonight for Fromber. Unless Joe Espada and Josh Miller want to go to guys for a third straight day. Expectation that Fromber goes at least six, if not more, tonight. Oh, he gets very well. So he starts him off with the curveball. There you go. Hey, he has been spectacular. This is the next curveball. It's 101 to 95. Now he slows him up with a ground ball foul on the curve. Season. That ball's firm early, two and two. He's got last night as a pinch hitter to not play in game one of the series. There's a call strike. It's 0 and 1. Game number 10 since coming off the IL as they try and find out what they have with some of their young players that are up here at the big league level. You're seeing that they're still trying to figure out who is their regular everyday lineup. It's kind of interesting here on these young talented players on his roster. Fromberg getting two ground balls and a strikeout in the first. Let's go with the Cardinals out of their pen, but it's not started a game, as Blummer said, in almost five years. Two more moves today as Altuve grounds one foul and Jose's down in the count of starters. Now they're going to their eighth different starter in the last 11 games. That's a big number. Number 2100 in his career. Make it 2101. Altuve reaches out. And Kyle Tucker goes after the first fastball and misses 0 and 1. That ball hit hard past the first base for J.D. Davis towards the corner. Tucker is going to go there late. His head first slide in time. Ball gets away. A 1 0 Astros. Okay. Last time they faced Aaron Brooks on the mound as a starter. And sends one into right center field. Tucker's tagging up. Nevin on. And the Astros taking advantage of an error on the field and then a mental lapse right. There's a strike. It's two and one. Two games. Joe Espada said once Bregman gets back that swing, he's going to move right back. Now, Pena goes down on strikes for the final out of the inning. But a good start for the Astros against lefties. All nine of his home runs have been against right-hand pitching this year. Chops this ball foul. And the count's one and two. Ball towards Bregman's backhand, but just foul. That run game, too. All the areas where the Astros have struggled. How about Geloff missed 20 games on the IL with a strained open. Picks up a ground ball here. Two big hops for Jeremy Pena. They went on to win five of the next six after they're at 12 and 24. But now they've won five of six again. And here they are. Those are the teams you want to win against in your division. As Tyler Nevin goes. He has played in 41 now of the 43 games. Recio Dubon. In the Pacific Coast League, as he gets Yonder Diaz swinging in a pitch off the plate, he gets him with the slitting. But none were home runs. Yeah. He's faced in him since 2019. The pitch is up 101. 43 in the third. Speaking of home runs, Joey's still leading the PCL. Even stays alive on the 1 2 pitch. Schultz now with a new team. There's a base hit to right field. Joey Loperfito now has a hit. Page League at bats. Mauricio sends one to center field. Esteuri Ruiz will bat and make the play for out number two as Loperfito retreats back to first. Oh, it was a fun night. You come in as a pinch runner, score the game winning run, and sell two hits. Fouls went at the plate. It's 101. A heat. But has been trapped inside here with that roof being closed a little bit later than normal. 2-2 two, two pitch. Good take by Trey. Cabbage did draw the Angels. This ball is a loud base hit to right. And Loperfito was running on the 3-2 pitch. So get the momentum going. But a la Albert Pujols. Well, broken back ground ball towards the middle. The play will be made the first. Gave away a ton of bucket hats, over 10,000 hats, and obviously Hello Kitty here. This place was packed. Make his way around the sun again. Uh, so he is, uh, or his birthday, we're going to be He is from the Grand Slam Galaxy. So it is, go. I can't tell you how they, they great for, uh, for however old he is. Sunday's the big birthday bash. And I know we're trying. General Sports uh, Hall of Fame. Wow. So, um. 
orbits up there. I love it. MascotHallofFame.com. Make sure people know that because that's orbit deserves. And walk to start the inning. Now Brett Harris hits one to Altuve. Altuve backhands to Pena. Ten. It's that perfect time of year uh, where everybody's favorite Cajun family out there, you know, taste testing or anything like that. I, I would be more than happy to be able to do that. But this will open uh, two hours early, so um, make sure you go and with our players wearing Mother's Day hats. Uh, we have armed forces. And goes after the first pitch. Slices one down the left field. He makes the play. Pretty nice running catch right along the line by Rooker. To retire Tucker. In right field his first time up. Goes after the first pitch and sends this one into right center. Long run for Bregman. You know is going to take a pitch. He's generally patient anyhow, but especially. And Brooks taking advantage of the knowledge. Fouled back. Bregman now with a seven. Ball. Ground ball on the left side. Gobbled up by the third baseman, Harris. Many. <laughs> Abraham Toro taking one in the dirt for a ball. It's 1 0. Pena and a double play started by Jose Altuve. Fromber getting a strike here. It's a little tapper. Fromber races off the mound. Gloves, throws. Rooker skies one to left center. Pretty well hit, sending Loper field. First pitch, fastball in the inner half for a strike, 0 1 with Oakland. There's a strike, it's 1 and 2. Change has been a change up with some looking strikes Ooh. and some called strikes. He almost got one there. Second, Mike Estabrook at third. Robber with a 57 foot curveball. Much like his current manager, Mark Conso. There you go. Kids. Little tapper going to be tough for Fromber. Off balance. Can't believe that he did that again. Yeah, Fromber gives up more hits on balls. This ball in 2 0. Ground ball. Altuve is just waiting for it. Could have gone to the best. Steps in here after striking out his first time up. A rare first pitch off the plate for Aaron Diaz and Joey Loperfito. Jeremy loses the bat and pops one up. Lead in hits with 53. Tuve already has one tonight. That helps when you've got Mulder, Zito, and Huddy. Tim Hudson was unbelievable, those three. 3-2 three, pitch. There is a base hit. Jeremy Pena now matching. Yiner towards the middle. That's going to sneak through. Pena, he's the best base runner for the Astros, according to StatCast, in terms of going. So he goes after a first pitch change up and misses 0 1. Missing up 1 1. Pretty good pitch. Clips the outside edge of the knees. One Swings and misses at a slider down. That's a big strikeout for Brook. As he sends one to center field. Plenty deep enough to score the run. Well, Trey has a base hit tonight. Hits that ball hard. We'll get more on the bandana. Staying alive, 0-2. Nevin got off to a hot start for the eight. Julia was talking about before the game. Now he gets a little tapper towards Bregman on two hops. Bregman. It's in. I'm in. There's hits. Right. I was just admiring. And there's a lot going on down here. And things to do down here. What's Doobie doing? Come on, Doobie. So we saw a smooth Grand slam off the This one the other way is playable by Rooker. Drive it to that opposite field. He feels like he has had pitches to hit because he's gone after the first team. That's kind of cool. Yeah. How about that? So happy. Oof. But you've got all the Astro sources. That's all we need. Oh. I saw Brett the other night. A 25-year-old was at University of Houston for a season. Was Red Shirt transferring. Ended his college career. Anything of the team I was playing with, we were going to get invited back. That, what did Fromber get him with the first time? That would be the spikes that change up, and it's three and two. Swing and a foul at the plate, caught by Yiner Diaz. Niner pulls one on the ground towards third for one. Nice turn by Geloff. They're going to say safe. That's a close play. The eighth.
Loper Fito showing bun and takes a fastball in for ball one. Ground ball again. This time Bregman on the short hop picks it clean. Will be on the ground. We're up the third baseline. Is the only thing between Fromber Valdez and a no hitter in the seventh right now. When in doubt, just attack that that short hop because you can kind of get an idea. Like Alec, <laughs> I was just going to say, I don't want to be Zach. First pitch, change up, down, one and zero. Oh. Ground ball towards third. It's going to be a brilliant outing when Bregman makes it. The game it might have been. Back in 2015 when he went a season high. And Brooks is going to get through seven with a one, two, three, seventh. Rui for seven. Anything beyond that would have been gravy. And they get seven brilliant innings, 97 pitch. That went down and away, two and one. Has missed the inside edge. That'll be a walk to Bledick. Back to back lefty pitch hitters. There's a strike on the inside edge. Dug out for the Astros and then up to Joe to see how he must signing tonight. He did not decide to appeal. They might need to add length to that bullpen. Now two they will go to second for one. The first at bat. And he takes his first pitch of the night. This one called the ball off the plate. Wow. Fragment grounds one to third. Jeff Martinez to go at least two innings. That's in the air towards left field. Joey and that's hit hard towards Bregman and Brent Rooker swung in the 2-0. A grounder to Pena flips it over to Altuve.